craft project this afternoon for my Midori. Um, if you've looked online you'll know that you can get um, storage binders for the Midori notebooks that look something like this, this is a DIY one. Um, and they're basically similar to the actual Midori itself except that they're made out of cardboard or craft board or something like that. Uh, they're quite sturdy um, and they're basically just for putting your used or new inserts into it. Well, I looked at the price and said I'm not paying £5 for that. <laughs> so, <laughs> here I am. I've got a bit of sturdy cardboard. This was um, just packaging in something. I don't know what it was for, but uh, it's nice and thick and sturdy. It doesn't bend easily. Um, it's tempting to just chop it off at like 12 centimetres and say, there you go, I've made one. But then I measured these and I thought, hang on a minute, I can get two out of this cardboard. Waste not, want not. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut this into two pieces. Um, I've already measured this and I know that the bit that left is left over is not going to be big enough to do anything with. So I'm just going to chop it in, chop it off like that and get rid of the bit in the middle. So I've just got two flat pieces to work with. Okay, the size that I want to work with, these notebooks are 21 centimetres high and 11 centimetres wide. So uh, 21 high. 11 wide and remember you've got a front and a back so that's times two and I've got a thicker pen there hang on I don't think you can see that on camera here we go so 21 centimeters high this is for the standard size obviously if you're doing the smaller one then it won't be as tall uh, 21 centimetres high, 11 centimetres wide, times two, one for the front, one for the back. And then I was playing around with it earlier and I quite like the depth of this and this is four centimetres. So I'm going to make the spine four centimetres deep. Okay, so I'll put that there so if you need to write down the measurements you can. really simple <laughs> honestly really simple i'm going to cut this so that it's 21 centimeters high i'm actually going to i'm going to cut it a little bit taller not a whole lot taller just a little bit taller i want to be able to have this sitting on the shelf rather than the book pages themselves so i'm going to go for 21 and a half which isn't going to make a huge amount of difference um, but I have noticed like on my main Midori, this is exactly the same height as the notebooks and there is some wear and tear to the edges and if they're going to be sitting on the shelf then I'd like to protect the edges a little bit better than that. So let me find my pen. So I'm going for 22 high. is that line there. I am using an acrylic ruler but it's got a metal edge. Don't forget you want a metal edge ruler for this if you're going to use a, a large knife or even if you're just going to use a craft knife. You don't really want to be using plastic ruler because it will bend basically and you'll uh, you'll ruin the edge of your ruler. The nice thing about this thick cardboard is it's really easy to cut because it's basically just air. 
between two pieces of paper. Okay, so that's my height. So width ways, I want 11 centimetres by 2, which is 22, plus 4, which is 26. Is that right? Measure twice, cut once. So 11, and then 4 would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 15. And then another 11, 10 would be 25, so 26. That's measuring from zero, obviously. So, a little trick I do when I'm measuring stuff, because it's so easy to misread it, literally turn it upside down and measure it again from the opposite way. So, 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 15 to 26 is 11. So, you can do that this way. So 26 to 15 to 11 to 0. I'll double check that one as well. 11, 4, 26. So these should line up that way. Yep. Okay. Now, looking at the cardboard, it has a tendency to bow that way. So I'm going to use this as the outside and this is the inside. So the way that it's bowing, naturally, is the inside. Chop off the excess first. Now with this uh, heavy duty cardboard, really you want a bone folder to be able to fold uh, because the chances are you'll be folding against the grain of the cardboard because it's kind of made in striations. Uh, I don't have a bone folder to hand. So what I'm going to do is line up along my ruler and bend it up. Okay, that's one. Line it up along my ruler. Which I'm doing the opposite way to what's natural to me, which is annoying, but I need to be able to see what I'm doing. It's quite tricky to bend it at first, but once it starts, it will keep going. There we go. Okay, so now I have a little booklet. Now, of course, if you want to, you can do the whole putting holes through and, and you know, elastic and everything else. If you want to make it pretty, go ahead. Um, I really can't be bothered. Uh, I will cover this at some point. I've got some lovely Japanese um, uh, scrap paper that I may use. Uh, I think that edge is a little off. but it won't matter once it's full. Um, so yeah, you could do the elastics, multiple elastics, just like you would with a Midori. Um, I'm just training the cardboard to stay closed. Uh, what I'm gonna do is use elastic bands because elastic bands are cheaper and you can fit a lot more of them along that four centimeter spine than you can if you punch holes. If you punch holes, you're only gonna get maybe five inserts so you're going to have even if you use elastic bands between the notebooks you're still going to only fit 10 maybe um, but why do that when you can just get 10 elastic bands in the first place so I got these elastic bands at WH Smith's there's about 100 in here and I think it cost me 99p so I'm going to grab a handful of those they stretch to exactly 25 centimeters before they break so they're a really good size obviously because you've got 21 centimeters plus how long it takes you to get your fingers in there and I'm just going to 
slot that along the back. I haven't counted out how many there are, I've just put some on. I don't know how many I'm, is going to fit because uh, all my notebooks are different thicknesses at the moment. So it, you know, it might be that you could fit maybe 20 Midori style notebooks in here because they're very, very thin. Uh, maybe DIY ones, you would only get a few in here. I don't know. Let's start with a few and see where we end up. Uh, I'm not bothered about the fact that it's dimpling there. That's just happening because that particular bit, I've obviously cut off the part that was holding that bit out. Um, but, you know, that's what happens when you DIY it, isn't it? If I wanted perfect, I'd go and buy one. <laughs> so there you go. Now I have an insert thing that I can put my new inserts in. I've made quite a few of these DIY inserts, and you can see they're not... Because they're all different sizes, um, they won't. Some will be the right height for the box, and some won't. Like so. I have some spare sheets. I like to keep these spare sheets, um, and I just fold them into the middle of my current notebook so that I've got loose leaf paper if I need it. And today I just finished, bar a couple of little bits and pieces that I need to do, like taking off my pen things, I just finished this one which is my August notebook so I think I'll put that one in the front and there I have a nice little binder for my DIY notebooks and I could probably fit twice as many as that in here. I could fit another couple in here and I've also got the other piece of cardboard here that I can also work with so I think that is a job well done. It's possible it's a little bit too tall. I might have mismeasured that. I might chop just a little bit off the top here. Maybe enough to get rid of that dimple there. Uh, but, uh, yeah, nice little Midori style notebook holder, protector thing. And with my old diaries, of course, as I use the refills, I can put my old ones in here. And then I've got a complete diary to keep on my shelf. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed that. Have fun.